Okay, here we go. Uh, this is a computer, a custom computer I built. It's got two USB 2.0s uh, in the front. It has expansion port, a disk drive, uh, which nobody uses anymore, but still have it. I have a 36 times super fast CDRW drive, and then I have a uh, lightning fast DVDRW uh, multimedia combo drive, uh, which is very fast. Um, it pops out really quick. This is the Northgate uh, tower that I built. It has six USBs in the back. Um, this is an AMD uh, 2000 plus pro uh, processor. Um, the default uh, gigahertz speed is only uh, 1.23 gigahertz. And I have overclocked this uh, right now as it is with 1.3 gigs of RAM. Uh, its maximum support is 2 gigs of, of RAM, but I have I have a graphics card and a few other things in it, so it, it the 1.3 gigahertz uh, works just fine right now. Um, this is a Magic uh, a Northgate tower. Um, I, as I said, I over overclocked this to about 1.88 gigahertz. Uh, with the 1.3 gigs of RAM. This is overclocked roughly about 56 to 58 uh, percent of the processor. Even though it's an older AMD uh, 2000 plus processor, it works really cool, very fast. Uh, as you can see, I have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I have about 10 programs running, fully running in the background right now. Uh, as I, I'm still moving stuff, I mean, I have, there's no slowing down whatsoever. There's 10 programs running right now. I believe for this computer, the maximum that I can have for programs running all at once, uh, I believe is about 20 to 22 programs as a max. I mean, that's a lot of programs to have running regardless. Um, as a multitasker, I'm a major multitasker, and I deal with a lot of logos um, and photography stuff. I mean, this is a dragon logo that I drew and then added uh, graphics colors and color effects, etc. Um, this is just one of the computers that I've built. Uh, as you can hear, it's not too not too loud I have one two three I have four additional fans than what is provided one on the base port um, hold on a second okay I have one streaming down on the base port of the tower I have one over towards the USBs that towards that goes up to the actual hard drives. I'm running two hard drives at once right now, a 60 gig and an 80 gig. I have a fan there, and then AMD fan here uh, with a major heat sink. This is a, an upgraded uh, heat sink fan for the CPU processor. This Power right now is currently running a 250 watt output power supply. Uh, then I have, as I said, I have all the rest of the components there. Uh, I custom built this computer. I am currently running um, 12 programs right now, all at once. There's no slowing down whatsoever. I mean, I can go back and forth to my media, my iTunes, uh, me Windows Media Player. Uh, it's quick and play, pretty much. Um, I, this computer right now is not currently for sale, um, but I build similar computers to this. I mean, I even have a flash 
uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, game that I can play right right now from MightyMagoo.com, uh, where you can just play it for free. All your all games you want is for free uh, in Flash format, which is really fun. Uh, retro gaming, uh, etc. I mean, as I said, I'm also downloading uh, about 30 photos right now, as you can see. Uh, I have pro I have one two. I have lots of programs running right down here in the ba the the bottom background uh, all at once. I can open. Sorry, hold on a second. I gotta. As I said, I have a ton of programs on this already. This is just some of the programs. Um, th this is for this the primary hard drive. However, with my secondary hard drive, I have a lot more programs running. I mean, I have. Uh, my internet card, another USB card running from uh, a video that I have plugged in for USB. I have an uh, all-in-one scanner printer hooked up. Um, it says I have three drives uh, currently running right now, but I did that because I split up one drive into or one primary, I mean my secondary drive into two drives, just to even out some of the space. Um, right now, I don't have this hooked up as the smart for the hard drives where the either one of the hard drives can communicate back and forth uh, to send or receive temporary or page files, um, etc. Because uh, that slows your computer down a lot and I only usually run that at, for certain programs. I mean, you can see with my processes, uh, Right now, I'm running 53 processes, uh, or processes, or whatever, uh, all at once. That's not counting the programs that's currently running. Uh, right now, my physical memory is, I don't know if I can get close enough, uh, total that, etc. I mean, this is my performance of this computer that I custom built. I'm running this many programs want all of these all in the background I have all of these running which generally slows your computer down a lot and every software that you install generally adds a quick launch key into one of these and I hate those because they slow your computer down so much uh, I have all this running at once and even with this I can minimize this while that's running I still have all these running. Okay, I have all these programs running, etc. And then all these on my desktop. This is one of the custom built computers that I built. I will be selling custom computers uh, fairly soon. I'm working on a Pentium 4 computer right now. Um, my other computer that's my primary uh, powerhouse computer, just like this one. Um, sorry, I'm in a little, little bit of low lighting, but just like this one is a Pentium 3 that's upgraded and power boosted uh, with all the accessories, and it had only computes to 900 megahertz of boosted RAM memory uh, Pentium 3, and it runs uh, slightly faster than this AMD 1.88 gigahertz processor uh, computer. And it has no slowing down, and it runs t uh, four hard drives for my Pentium 3. And that one uh, has probably about triple the amount of programs as every space on my desktop is full. From my software, my uh, media editing software, as I do a lot of photography, uh, graphics, and logo design, um, as well as web design stuff, so I need a fast computer. Basically, if a computer can't keep up with my multitasking, uh, it's junk to me. And I, I, I hate to say this, but new computers, a lot of them, they don't really compete with some of the original Pentium 3s or Pentium 4s or older computer mon uh, computers in general. If you can upgrade it to this, the maximum of what you can do and what you, you want, it's pretty much limitless about how many programs you can run, even with a Pentium 3. 
I mean, this is my AMD tw uh, 2000 plus uh, processor, which is different than Intel, but uh, this is only a single core processor. Uh, I've overclocked it to roughly about 1.88 gigahertz uh, processor speed, whereas my Pentium 3 runs at 900 megahertz of extra boost uh, RAM and uh, performance uh, computer. This computer and my other computer is not currently for sale, but I have other ones that I build. Generally, on an average, Standard computers generally only come with a power supply fan that's built in, the CPU supply, and then one uh, side tower fan. Okay, my Pentium 3 computer that I have, that I currently run uh, as a, my primary powerhouse computer. This is just a secondary computer, but my primary powerhouse computer for my Pentium 3 has almost seven fans and it runs at an internal temperature at or between 14 degrees to 19 degrees very cold temperatures okay even with this panel on this only has four fans this one runs at currently at or between 22 to 24 degrees for this one the second I start up my other primary uh, Pentium 3 computer, the very second I started up, with the panel closed, it, it is an icicle from the back fans. And, and sitting next to your computer, uh, I mean my computer or whatever, with, while you're working while the tower is on the ground, in a matter of, in like two minutes, you will be frozen solid because you're are that cold from sitting next to the icicle from my Pentium 3. Uh, this one is not too cold, but it still has, it, it still is very, very cold, uh, even sitting next to it, etc., while you're, while you're working. As I said, this is one of the computers I've built. This is a standard CRT uh, flat screen uh, monitor. It's not a LCD. However, this is a very big screen. This is a 19 inch LCD, uh, CRT screen, and it, despite the bulkiness, it's a very good picture. I mean, I have a graphics card in this. I have a Sound Blaster card. Uh, trying to think whether I, which one I want to do. All right, I'll, I'll just open up iTunes or whatever. I mean, as I said, I've got multiple programs running all at the same time, all at once. And there's no uh, slowing down whatsoever. I mean, I have all these running, and I got to make sure I double click it. I mean, it if you don't double click something or whatever, when you have something to click on, it won't it won't open. Um, but then I have I have all of these running. I have Media Space Viewer, uh, which you can watch and have. YouTube videos directly from whatever. I mean, as I said, I have a Sound Blaster Live card. Um, I have all these programs running all at the same time. All right, and because I have almost 20 programs running all at once, it t it did take an extra second for this to to uh, open. But also the fact that uh, it's a fairly fast computer regardless and this is overclocked so it it really does okay I don't need to download this right now uh, I mean this is a sound blaster live right now with amplified speakers and my volume is turned down hold on just a second I mean, you can hear. That's not even all the way up yet. I mean, this is really cool. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.